everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 51 of Direwolf20's Let's Play series, uh, where today I'd like to look at Netherite. Uh, last episode I was going to do something cool uh, with wireless refined storage, uh, and that's something we're probably going to want to do a lot of going forward. However, network transmitters and receivers require Netherite ingots, which is probably a good balance because wireless refined storage is like a pretty powerful thing so having it be expensive makes sense but i haven't gotten any netherite yet so option one i could go mining in the nether <sighs> sorry i got really yawny there for a second i'm not sure why or option two we could come up with another clever way to do it automatically which would be fun so there's a few things i thought about right there's a few ways to do this in the pack um i do want to automate mining and I'm in my brain working on designs for a create-based digging machine that will clear out large chunks of area, like I've done in previous versions of Minecraft with other things. That would be cool. Uh, but I don't want to do that in the nether because I'm not going to get a lot from the nether. What I'm thinking is I'd use like the, the mining dimension uh, and, and set up a great machine out there. But that's a future project that I haven't quite finished designs of yet. So I want to do that, but not yet. Uh, so mining in the nether, little less shenanigans, uh, something a little simpler, but not quite as simple as Mechanism's digital miner, because the digital miner is just, it's amazing. It's amazing. It is a great block. Uh, but it is very much a place block and magically get all the ores in the area kind of thing. I want something a little bit different. Something I haven't done before, perhaps. Um, so the digital miner could work. Could work. And I might even make one at some point just to try it out. Um, and speaking of, what is going on outside my base? Because somebody came over to say, hmm. Somebody definitely came over to say, hmm. But I don't know where they... What? What? Are they invisible? But they should have... What is going on? Where indeed? How did you even get in my house? My door wasn't open. Sir. No, it's considered rude to just walk into a person's house. No. Yeah. How rude. Just... I, I guess he could have snuck in here. I guess. I guess. Probably that's how he got in. But still, rude. Anyway, what was I saying? Digital Miner. Might check that out at some point, but I want to try something new. Something I haven't played with in a while. Uh, definitely not in 116. So I think, you know, on my hotbar, got a little industrial foregoing manual going on here. I figured we'd take a look at the laser. Uh, industrial foregoing's laser is capable of doing this. So if we looked at the ore laser base, um, this dude can mine ores for you. And basically, I don't think it actually mines them. I think it just creates them out of nothing, which is pretty cool. So that's one way we could go about it. And if we looked carefully, uh, we would notice that there is definitely the ability to get ancient debris. If we focus using a brown laser lens, we have a better chance of getting ancient debris. And if we focus uh, between Y level one and 20, uh, we'll have a pretty good chance of getting it as well. But note that it's only available in the nether biomes. So you gotta, you know, not blacklist, but only whitelisted nether biome, so you can only get it there. A lot of other ores like coal, right? Uh, you can get it anywhere, but it might blacklist some biomes like the end or the void or something like that. Um, but, uh, you know, so pay attention when you're looking at your laser drill to see. So we're gonna take a look at what the laser drill does today and how it works. Does that sound like a cool kind of plan? I hope so, because that's what's gonna happen. So what we're gonna do uh, is get the foregoing laser drill. So there's two, there's ore laser base and there's fluid laser base, FYI. And fluid laser base can get you things like ether gas, which is a industrial foregoing liquid that I assume does something, something, somewhere, possibly somewhere. Uh, there's also lava that you can get uh, and that can only got out of the nether. So that's cool to know. Uh, and then you can also get crude oil from pneumatic craft repressurized. And that can come from uh, any whitelist, but the blacklist, there's a few biomes that you can't get it from. Interestingly, it's desert and ocean, which is strange. That's a weird, I wonder why. But um, so theoretically, we could get crude oil like infinitely, which is kind of neat. Um, but meh, we'll see. I think what I'm going to focus on right now is the laser drill for ores. So let's do that thing, shall we? So ore laser base. Can we can we can we control click you? 
What am I missing with regards to you or laser base? So you need some of this and you also need a couple of these, right? And that's pretty close. And then you're gonna need some iron ore. Well, that's interesting. And an advanced machine frame. I don't think we know how to make one of those yet for the ore laser base. So an advanced machine frame is made like this. Oh, so we need netherite to make this in the first place? You're killing me, Smalls. Uh, but that's okay, we'll figure it out. Uh, so let's do that. Ore laser. So this guy, and I should probably have some patterns. Missing iron. <laughs> In fairness, I did use a lot of iron, right? I did. I'm sure I did. So that would be you. So note that, remember, 0.5 buckets of pink slime. I should probably get pink slime added over here. We should consider that. Uh, so for me to do that, we're going to want an external storage, right? Uh, and then we're going to want an ender tank. And luckily we have lots of blaze rods now. So even if we run out of these blaze rods, we should be fine. And some pink dye would be cool. Cool beans, right? Yeah, maybe. Boop, 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 boop. Making me craft an extra crafting step. So how about pink, white, white? Sound like a plan? Hey. And is that external storage done? It is. So that would be you. You would be... I'm going to leave you on item site for a sec because I don't want you actually uh, putting fluids in there. I don't think it would, but just to be safe. But I'm going to pop down here. There you go. That should be cool. What? What kind of creepy noises was that? I think that was... Aha! And, and this comes back to a problem that I was going to have otherwise. I need to separate this out, don't I? I need, to, I need to make this a little bit better. So why don't we get a trash can for fluids, a liquid trash can, yes, uh, real quick. Uh, I should consider filtering that or doing something. Advanced mechanical pipe, yeah, you're probably what I'm going to want. So what I'm going to do, temporarily, let's see, what do you got going on here? Yeah, so piping out of the side of you would be a bad time. So I should probably XNet this so I can filter it. Would that make sense? Probably yes. Probably yes. So what I think I'm going to do is the following. Let's get you here. I'm, I'm, I'm suddenly changing up. Do I want to do this right now? I guess so. I should really just get her done, right? Let's fix this, because we know it's going to be a problem for us eventually, and having access to this pink slime is going to be useful. So let's fix this, get the pink slime cra crafting going, and then we'll be cool. So drain you all out. Goodbye. Thank you. Boop, boop, boop. All right. Uh, and then we're going to want some of you guys and some of you guys. And then we can very quickly make this better. And also, you know what I want is a couple of buckets. So I'll have the filtering available. Okay. So your job then will be back here with some XNet cabling. Cool. And you already have an XNet connector, which is good time. So I'm going to break this and make this an XNet connector. And then what we can have is we've already got some kind of channel too. Is this fluids, this channel? So you're extracting here and inserting into the mechanical dirt. Got it. Okay. So let's just have a new fluid channel here. Uh, and you're going to extract from here, but I'm gonna say redstone signal for a sec, right? So you need a redstone signal for this moment. You know what, I'm not gonna do that. What I'm gonna do is just not enable processing yet. And then this guy needs to get pink slime, 
right? So that's this guy, the top one. So he's going to insert, filter, right? So that would be you, pink slime. Cool. And then that means you are going to insert, filter, liquid meat. And now if I turn on processing on this channel, that hopefully will get her done. Redstone mode ignored. Pink slime and meat can go out all sides. I feel like you should be working and I feel like you're not, explain. Insert, this is totally a fluid channel, it's active. What did I do wrong? I see what I did wrong. I extracted from the controller. That's not what we want. We want to extract from the mob slaughter factory. <laughs> now we're cooking. Nice, much better. Beautiful. All right, so that fixes that derpiness, which I think is probably a smart move. All right, so anyway, back to our original plan. So we do need a few netherite scrap, right? Let's get the, um, we got the uh, ender tank already set up. I can now not forget to set you to fluids mode. And that should be cool. So you're also fluids. I probably want to set you to extract only, right? I can probably do that here as well. So that way, the if, if we ever ran out of liquid meat, for example, I don't want the refined storage system to put water in there, let's say. Um, not that I think anything would, but it's always a good idea to like extra protect yourself. All right, so speaking of yawns, if I were to now say that I want a foregoing laser, right, uh, drill, we have everything we need. We actually need the ore base as well, right? So we need the iron ore, and then we need the advanced machine frame from foregoing, which needs a couple netherite scrap. Uh, and apparently a couple raw plastic because I put the wrong thing in there. So I'll fix that. Let me just go get a few netherite manually via digging. And I'm also going to grab a couple iron ore. And we'll be right back. Woot! Finally found some. All right. So netherite scrap should be groovy. Nice. My magnet's probably out of power, isn't it? Yeah. I need to figure out charging items in my inventory. I have to figure that out for sure. What I need is a battery that's a curio. How do I do here? I got two ancient debris. That should be enough. Boy, is it awful when you don't have a magnet, let me tell you. That's the worst thing ever. Hey, there we go. I can tell when I uh, start mining slower that there's some ancient debris there. So that gets me up to four. Uh, I mean, it's not bad. It's not too bad. What I also probably should do is I should switch over to the RF tools. Um, teleporter thing so I can teleport home across dimensions because my home teleporty guy does not work across dimensions and that's just a kind of uh, a little bit of a bummer where am I I know where I am I'm near the I'm near the thing uh, there is here is this is where I want to be yes sorry got a little lost in my own museum right there all right back in a minute so ancient debris which is what we're gonna be getting can be processed in a crusher to three exit. Smelter is one to one. Enrichment chamber is one to two. And I think everything else is either one to two. So crusher is kind of your best bet. That'll get you three dirty netherite scrap, which can then be enriched into this. So if you really want to get the most out of your netherite, you're going to want to, or your ancient debris, right? You want to triple it with the crushing factory, right? Um, and that'll get you netherite scrap, which you can then enriching factory into that. Cool. Now uh, you need netherite scrap, but it's probably a good idea to teach you this recipe as well for the time being. Is there a better way to do this? I don't think so. I think your only other option would be to, I think there's an enrichment chamber recipe for it, but it's hardly better. Netherite dust, yeah, so you can do four gold like that but that's kind of the same thing so i think this is your best bet for a recipe so why don't we add that to our regular crafts section cool so now i should be able to get my advanced machine frame start boom 
And we'll see that he, you know, dropped the right amount of liquid in here. Perfect. Pink slime, 500 millibuckets. Love, love, love refined storage's fluid handling. I know I've said it before, and I'm saying it again, it's kind of the best. Sweet. So there you go. Okay. So that means now I should be able to get my um, foregoing laser, right? So there's your ore laser base. Or, or laser drill. Yes, or laser drill. Or laser drill. Perfect. Or that's the laser drill or laser base. Now that's actually what we want. Doesn't matter. It's one, the same thing one way or another. So that's, so you need one base and I want to say you want up to four drills if I'm not mistaken. Um, so let's check this out. I'm pretty sure I'm right about this. I'm pretty sure. And that needs a simple machine frame, which I think we told you to craft, right? Yeah, in progress. Sweet. So I'm going to get two, and then we'll probably come back and get two more. There you go. So there's your two laser drills. And we're also going to want a flux point. Boom. And we'll probably also want... I'm going to get advanced uh, universal cables, which is 51,000 RF a tick. So that's a pretty good amount, right? 5,000, 51,000. Yeah, that's a lot. I think we should be fine there. Uh, so that's that, that, and that. And let's also get a chest to store things. And let's get a brown lens, which might be nice. So you want, is there like a general lens or what's the deal? So that's white. Which one of you is like the normal? Yes, I know, uh, dissolution chamber. Ah, okay, cool. So it's four and then 250 millibuckets of latex. Let's, it's probably best, it's probably best to do this, right? So we're gonna do that, that, and that. Can I click this? Alternatives, you say, oh, that's cool. Glass pane. interesting how do i change this though forge glass panes oh that's cool forge glass panes that's neat apply set i don't quite get it it doesn't look like it's changing anything so i'm just going to do it the manual way but that's cool right that's cool i'm just going to get a little bit of brown dye in here well we'll see so you're gonna go to this dude. And do I have brown dye? I don't, we're missing it. Okay. So what can I do to get brown dye? We don't have any of those. That works. So just get me one lens and we're gonna figure out how this works. I don't know if this has changed from previous versions. So I'm just gonna kind of run with it and we'll see what happens, right? So let's pop into the nether. And generally this needed to hit the bedrock level, right? So now in the nether, we are in basalt deltas. So is this for ancient debris a valid biome? Basalt deltas, yes, cool. And let's make sure we're in this chunk all together, cool. So what I'm gonna do is dig straight down in the nether, because that sounds like a good time, right? Digging straight down in the nether seems like a really smart move. Of all the places you shouldn't dig straight down, which is pretty much everywhere in Minecraft, I can't think of anywhere where it's safe to dig straight down, the nether seems like the most dangerous. But I'm being safe with my jetpack, uh, and I think that's cool. So we want to hit bedrock, because I'm pretty sure this is how this works. And FYI, we have environmental tech, but I didn't see ancient debris being available through environmental tech, but I don't know if anything is listed in environmental tech yet. So it's very possible that it's just that environmental tech isn't showing me what ores it can get, right? But environmental tech is very much a thing. So maybe? I'm not sure. Will you show me what ores you can get? Not really. So they, they must not have JEI integration built into environmental tech yet. So it's possible environmental tech could have done this. I just don't know. And I was very lucky in that I was able to go all the way down to bedrock 
from Y level 60-ish and not run into any lava. How great is that? So ore laser base is gonna go here. And this thing looks like there's six slots for lenses, so we might want more lenses. That's kind of cool. Uh, we can change the depth. That is a loud click. Isn't that a loud click? Feels like a very loud click. Cool. So if I want ancient debris, okay. Brown will give me a better chance of getting it, but we should probably also get from the nether, uh, I'm assuming we'll also get quartz and glowstone and maybe even dimensional shard ore. Yeah, probably. Probably gonna get dimensional shard ore here. Glowstone also comes, whitelisted biomes, nice. Uh, and and ore, and ore, and nether quartz, yeah, there you go, white lens. So these guys just give you a better chance of getting it. And you know what else I should, I should, I should check out? Um, one thing I want to check out is for glowstone, what's the Y levels on him? 7 to 117. Mm -hmm. So I want glowstone, so I'm going to keep myself at 15, because 15 matches both this and and Ancient Debris. But Ancient Debris is 1 through 20. So I'm thinking if all I wanted was Ancient Debris, I would make it like 5, and then I wouldn't get it. Right? Uh, and what about Quartz? Where's Quartz? That's also 7, right? So I want Quartz, but if I only want an Ancient Debris, we're going to test that. We're going to test that. Now, Dimensional Shard Ore uh, is 0 to 255 in these biomes. So that's fine. That's fine. Well, let's see what happens, right? Let's see what happens. Um, so we're going to set up the two laser drills. And if I remember correctly, what you want to do is kind of place them like this. Now, you might be wrong direction. You might want to go here. Cool. Target is that. Negative 24, 61, 8. Negative 24, 61, 8. Perfect. So you can actually see there's even little particle effects there telling you which target it's facing. So that's neat. Laser drill. Now why are you being funny about when I place you, buddy? There you go. That works. So we're going to want a flux point here. And some advanced here and here. And you've got power now. Redstone mode ignored. Redstone mode ignored. So you have progress happening. Sweet. It's a little bit slow. But two more of these ought to help. Two more of these ought to help. So let me pop home and get two more of these. Where even am I? Oh, I see what happened. I didn't go all the way up. I didn't realize that there was a... That, that's fine. We can leave that like that. That's okay. I got lost in my own museum again. That's the thing that happens. So yeah, let's, let's get two more drills. Okay, we are back. And I made two more laser drills. Boop. And boop. And uh, what I'm probably going to want to do is replace you guys. But let's see how this drilling is doing. Right? Because I'm sure there's some drilling happening here. So what do we got? Hey, we got a glowstone. Hooray! It is a little bit slow. But I think we can speed this up. And we will. But let's do iron chest. And that's cool. And then I think what we want to do, output, direction, top, up, action, push, we'll have it auto, it awesome, perfect. And that might become an ender chest at some point, but we'll, you know, get there when we get there. So now you're not moving at all, right? Correct. So if we were to get some advanced fluid, or advanced universal cables here, boop. So now he's moving a little bit, very slowly. Okay, so what are you doing? It's basically every 50 ticks, so two and a half seconds, right? And it's a thousand forge energy per tick, right? So now then you're doing the same. Interesting. So he's not consistently outputting. I'm not quite sure what that's all about, but it's all good. And then you, and then you. And that should be pretty cool. So now every three, two and a half seconds, 
we're making progress times four. So we're making four progresses every two and a half seconds. That's cool. So that's a little slow, but I think we can speed that up, right? So what kind of upgrades, is it gonna tell me in the book what kind of upgrades you guys take? I'm thinking no. But I'm suspecting we can do the speed upgrades here. And I'm not, and I'm thinking, so here's the deal. Uh, I think I know how this is gonna work. So foregoing, I think we're gonna want some efficiencies and some speeds. Here's what I think. So efficiency, remember, uh, basics, add-ons, speed increases how much the bar advances every tick, right? And then efficiency decreases the amount of ticks needed to complete an operation. I wonder if I threw efficiency in here, if it would require less progress to be done. So I'm going to try that. And because I'm surprisingly low on diamonds, like hilariously, embarrassingly low on diamonds, uh, I'm going to do this at all gold tiers, because diamonds I am at one! I've got one diamond! So I think there's a little bit of manual digging coming up in my future before we get fully automated happening. So, let's see what happens now. Can I put efficiency in you? Haha! -ha! Look, now it only needs 90. Look, take efficiency out, it needs, well, whatever. Uh, it was 100 before. I guess it's because it's currently in progress. We'll see what happens. But if I put speed in you... Yes. And then speed in you... Okay. Now, can you also have efficiency? 45. Nice. Okay. So both of these effectively wind up making it faster. Now, I don't know that speed... Would speed do something in here, you think? I can't tell. No, it's not, because speed is... <laughs> there you go. Uh, you should you should have been able to tell, Direwolf. You should have been able to tell. That was obvious. But look, see, now it's 100 if I throw the efficiency in there. So I should get four more efficiencies if I really want to speed this up, right? So let's go do that. Four more efficiencies, and then I'll feel better. And that'll make it a little better. I'd love to get tier twos, but that requires a really large number of diamonds, right? And that's not something we have the capability to handle right now. So we'll uh, get the four more efficiencies and be right back. Okay, so four more efficiencies will make this just a little bit more efficient, right? And then if we really want this cruising, what we would do is put diamond tier, so four speeds and five efficiency diamond tiers would make this even better, right? Um, and that should be cool. So what are we getting in here? Oh, so we are actually getting iron and redstone and lead. That's an interesting thing. I wasn't sure if we would get non-nether ores in this thing. And clearly we are. So that's cool. That's cool. I was thinking we would only get nether ores from this, but I guess, um, the laser drill here is probably whitelisted. Any blacklisted is just the end is blacklisted, so not nether for iron. And I'm assuming redstone is probably similar. Yeah. So just the end is blacklisted for most of your ores, not the nether. So we will get some vanilla non... Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Let's set up a quick ender chest import system for refined storage. Does that sound like a, a thing we should do? I feel like that's not a bad idea. So, boop. Okay. So ender chest. We're definitely gonna want one of you. Does white, white, white sound good? That's usually what I use for my base import, but usually just because I, you know, am lazy. Uh, and then a and then a white ender pouch might be good times too. Might be good times too. There you go. Uh, and then another one of these would be cool. And then we're gonna want <clears throat> an importer. With one stack and three speeds, I'm thinking. So stack. Haha, <laughs> we're missing iron. We only have five iron available. What did I say about having to go mining again? It was 100% a thing that needs to happen. Oh my goodness, it's 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 embarrassing at this point how low I'm resources now. So what I've been doing is like, part of me was like, I really want to do this create designed 
uh, mining thing. And when I, I'm gonna go mining, I need to get my quantum bag. Really, really should get one of them. So there's your importer, that's cool, I'll hang on to you. All right, I'm gonna mine real quick. I'm not gonna go crazy, but I'm gonna get a few, a few bits and bobs here. And uh, then I'm gonna start thinking about, is it time to get into the create giant mining thingy? I think that would be cool. I think it's a good time. So I'll be back in a sec. All right, that's enough mining for one minute. Uh, let's see, how'd I do? Eh, not bad. Hey, got a stack of diamonds. That's cool. You guys are my priority, diamonds and that stuff. The rest of it just, you know, go in the pool. So I thought since I have a bunch of ore processing to do, now's not a terrible time to go ahead and upgrade this so that these guys run a little bit quicker. Because I went to craft some of the things I want, and boy, is it slow. All right, so now do you guys remember your split mode? Yes, you do. Good job. Good job. Sweet. And then you, sir, could probably have a stack upgrade. Actually, so give me two of them. One for my import bus, and then also one for exporting into you, because I want you to export faster. Because I'm also going to throw some speed upgrades in you. Do you have four already? Yeah, you could probably go a little bit faster. Does six sound good? Yeah, I like that. Eh, I'll just go eight. Let's go crazy. So stack upgrades times two. You're going to get one of them. Boop. And now you should be really cooking with gas. Booyah. And you're just having all kinds of fun. Nice. All right. So over... I mean... I don't know if it really matters where this goes, but somewhere that makes sense, I guess. You know it would be a good place for you? You know it would be a really good place for you if we got a cable? Um, I'll just put you here. And you're gonna go here, right? And there should be nothing in this ender chest at the moment. And then we can have the importer, boop. And you're gonna get the stack and three speed upgrades. So now, uh, literally anything that I drop into this ender chest, is gonna suck right into the sorting system. This is a thing that I've been saying for a while, let's go ahead and do. Uh, and this is just gonna be useful for uh, when I'm out and about further away where I can't hit tab and open my refined storage system, I can just get access to things right away. And that'll make life a lot easier. And then also what we can do is set up an ender chest in the nether on this thing. I saw it happening and I still didn't stop myself. I saw it happening and I was just like, oh no. And then it happened. And I was just like, well, well, it doesn't matter because we need to put away all these things. And I'm just going to fix this real quick. Because that was a derp. That was a little bit of a derp. Uh, base. And then you're going to get the efficiency one and you're gonna get speed and efficiency it's not the end of the world it's not that big of a derp efficiency and speed and now you should be cool and you're back up to running cool and then what we can do is just stick the white ender chest here so now any ores that get sucked up by this thing which is a little bit slow uh, but we'll get there with it so yeah you're cooking with some, with some advanced add-ons, we should be better. And maybe more browns so that we get um, better stuff, I think would be cool. More more likelihood for ancient ores or whatever it is. Um, ancient debris. So how bad would it be to request five efficiencies? We need some more blaze rods, but not the end of the world. Oop. So you're going to need 40 diamonds for that. Wow. How many diamonds did I pick up? Like a stackish? And then four, four speeds. I'm just saying, I'm just saying that's a lot of diamonds. I don't think I have that many. I don't, I have less, I have less diamonds than that many. Uh, yeah, we're going to hold off on that. I think we're going to call it cool what we've got. Um, but I will take my ancient debris and crusher him. And then the scrap can be enrichment chambered. So now I can get 
my refined storage network transmitter and network receiver. Nice. That is some auto crafting fun. Cool. So network transmitter and network receiver. And then we want the, the card, right, that we need for these guys. Speed, range, crafting, stack upgrades. Uh, security card, network card. That's what we want. I should teach you how to do network cards. Thank you. Beautiful. So let's set this up real fast. So what I'm going to want to do is the following, right? No cables required. Booyah. So if we come over here and we set up a receiver, boop, like so, okay? Um, and then we set up an external storage to him. Now, what do I do? Click on this with the network card, I think. Link to this position in the overworld. So shift right click on the network receiver with your network card, and the network card is now linked to that receiver. Uh, and you are going to have a high priority, something like 10, right? And because all the drawers are locked, he's only gonna be able to insert the appropriate items. So if we came over here now, and let's you know stick you over in, in networking corner. Um, the distance between the network receiver and transmitter affects how much RF and tech cost this is to maintain this wireless connection. Uh, but if we look for now, for example, at our blaze rods, we'll see that we've got you know a stackish. I'm going to take them actually out because I don't want blaze rods and ender pearls. Um, but you know if we looked at like wither skeleton heads, eh, we've got a decent amount of them too, and withered ribs. I'll just take out some of the things that I know should be in that thing right so that should all be cool right so i'm gonna hook you up here and then i just place the network card in there Ta-da! 96 blocks away uh and i think i can look at the controller to see how much rf a tick oh wow gold crafters use a lot of okay that's cool today i learned uh but my network transmitter is using 64 rf a tick to maintain that connection wow you guys are actually uh, a little pricey we're using 1,163 RF a tick for this network so far. Wow, it's getting there. I mean, to be fair, it looks like the, the modded crafters actually use a decent amount of RF a tick, which is fine. I'm okay with that. I think that's fair. Uh, so now if we look, hey, hey, we've got 2,000 bones. Look at that. And wither skeleton skulls, we've got what we would expect there. Ender pearls, we've got what we would expect there. Blaze rods, a decent amount. Beautiful. You'll notice I, I currently have my, my, my farm there off. Which is, which is fine. But that, among other reasons, is why I wanted netherite. So I can hook up that wireless refined storage stuff. Cool. So let's get you running again. Cool. And now if we come over here, we should see our ender pearl number increasing. Cool. How great is that? Loving it. All right, so for now, Dell 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I really need to look into automated mining so that I don't run into resource problems anymore. So there's a handful of ways we can do that. I definitely want to do the fun create way, but I also want to check out void ore mining, but we're going to need lots of power for that. So I think we'll start with the, the create method, and I'm going to start thinking about building a giant world-eating moving structure. That's kind of the plan, but we'll see what happens. For now, Dell 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.